Hi there, Loy Macedo. Swinging to you from LoyMacedo.com. Who is Loy Macedo? Think personal branding. Okay, I got this headlines from Arabian Business where it says uh, in uh, Abu Dhabi, that is UAE, the capital of UAE, diners splash $167,000 at Salt Bay's Nusur et uh, in Abu Dhabi ahead of F1 Grand Prix. A picture of the bill with a hefty amount paid at the restaurant in Abu Dhabi was posted on Instagram last night. Okay, so 167 US dollars is roughly more than half a million, so actually 600,000 plus. Okay, um, so what it says, I'll, I'll give my thoughts, you can let me know what are yours. With several high profile individual celebrities, teams, and visitors in Abu Dhabi ahead of Formula One and the FIFA World Cup Qatar 22. Nusur at the restaurant has gained popularity with Salt Bay posted a picture of their Instagram bill uh, of 615,065 from their branch in the Galleria Abu Dhabi. The bill was dated November 17th with the timestamp of 9.52 p.m. Nus I hope I got his name right. Nusur it was contacted for comment but unable to reveal further details. F1 Grand Prix is set to begin on Friday, November 18th with the first concert taking place on Thursday, uh, November 17th featuring artists like Dave and Usher. Okay, Lewis Hamilton also has a photograph there. Okay, so what do I think about this? Now, uh, see it's very simple. If it's your money and you want to spend on expensive items, why is it anyone else's business? There are many people who say, oh, if only this could have been given to the poor or this could have been given to charity. You can pay billions of dollars for charity. Uh, it's not going to be enough. It's like putting water in a dry well. It's just going to suck it all dry. Um, try, try. For example, I will challenge you. Try giving every month of your salary, give it to, let's say, a poor family. Do you ever think they're going to say, no, stop, don't give us, we are enough, we are happy? No, they'll say keep giving us every month after month after month. The needs and wants of the poor never end. So charity, doesn't. you might say, oh, at least uh, give someone one meal. Yeah, the thing is, you're right. At least give a family one meal. Why don't you give your money? Why are you asking someone else's money? Now, for this individual who spent 615,000, if he, if he can afford to spend half a million, means he must be having 100, 200 times more uh, with him to just spend. And for him, like for you and me, spending maybe $100 on a meal is a big thing, okay, for you and me. For these people, $100,000, $200,000 is the same. So I don't see any problem, personally speaking. And given the fact that this guy, the Salt Bay, is already a brand and he provides a certain experience. I know it's a gimmick putting salt like this and, uh, you know, the gold steak and all that. It, it costs peanuts. It costs peanuts. You can actually Google search and find out that salt, uh, that uh, that gold plated whatever they are talking it's it's actually very cheap it's not gold it is just a gimmick okay uh, i mean you can't eat metal you can't eat uh, gold and silver it's just a metal it's just a gimmick uh, you, you know you eat it what it doesn't taste also anything it's it's actually you're buying the steak but people pay for the experience just like starbucks versus a, another coffee it's Yes, a little flavor difference, but the people are paying for the experience. Now, for someone who dines in a five star or a expensive outlet and they have the money, I mean, what is our problem? It's like, for example, when I spend money and I buy my Galaxy Fold 4 and I, I'll, I'll show you Galaxy Fold and S22 and the iPhone and I have the other iPhone there. Then I also have, uh, wait, let me show you. I have the Galaxy Tab, I have the three iPads. Now, I didn't keep this here only for this video. I made a review of the uh, Steam Deck. This is a gaming device. Now, I have all these devices. I have uh, two iMacs, I have a studio, I have 
uh, a PC gaming device. I have the uh, PlayStation. I have a gaming laptop. I have so many things. Plus, I have other things which I bought and I sold for after using for two, three days, half price. People say, Lloyd, why are you wasting all this money? Yeah, it's my money. I can spend the way I like. I mean, why is it a problem for you? You want to do something for charity. You want to help the poor. That's your money, your call. I mean, we can't go around policing other people. I think the problem today is we live in a social media age where almost everyone has uh, the ability to share their opinion and they feel a sense of self-entitlement that my opinion is right. You have to accept my opinion and I will tell you how you should spend your money, what you should do, how you should do it and how you should live your life. That is my opinion. So listen to me. So when everyone starts giving their opinion, I think that, uh, you know, everyone feels that they are right. And last but not the least, the final thing I'd like to tell you, today we live in a social media age where, you know, if we go and eat outside, we like to take our camera and take a photograph of the food and share it. I do it. My wife does it. In fact, my wife does the food that she cooks at home. Okay. Now, why do we do that? Is because we like to share things. Hey, I'm eating this delicious. Just think about it. Before social media was invented, before, do you think we would take a photograph when social media was not there, take a photograph of the food that we eat and go around to every neighbor's house and say, see, listen, I ate this shrimps, huh? I ate these shrimps. Look at the photo. They say, ah, oh, yeah, okay. Then go to another house. Hey, see, see, I ate shrimps. No, we would not do that. But the reason why we do that today is because people are more interested in your business rather than their business. They are more interested. What is she wearing? What is she doing? What is he doing? Where is he going? Who is he meeting? So we are very, uh, we are more interested in other people's business. And given the fact that there is a demand for this, so we satisfy the demand. What this person is trying to do is, this is, this is not food that you eat because you are hungry. It's rather you're paying money for an experience. And given that they spend so much money, they want to show off. They want to tell him, look, this is the lifestyle I live. Ha, ha, ha. And obviously, given the fact that it's even come in the news, okay, it's being shared widely on social media, proves that this kind of news, this attention-grabbing gimmick, as I call it, works. I mean, it's not every day that someone would spend uh, half a million just to eat food, right? Tomorrow, somebody else will say, oh, I spent one million, you know? So just like, for example, when I bought my wife a gold, you know, the expensive gold chain, she shared it on her social media and everyone, wow, you're so lucky. Your husband is so nice. Oh, this is a great, the same people who used to call me, uh, oh, a mafia guy. Oh, you'll regret marrying this guy. People are actually telling secretly to my wife, this, you made a big mistake marrying this. Uh, and when they came to know I'm Indian, they're like, oh, Indian, yuck. Yeah. Your, your life is going to be shit and all that. The very same people are not, wow, he's such an amazing guy. He really loves you. Oh, you're so lucky. Yeah, this is the kind of day and age we live. Okay. So I personally don't see any problem. I think if someone has money, let them spend it the way they like. And yes, they did it because they know that they will get that. 15 seconds of fame, as you call it. And yes, it helps add to that person's brand, whomsoever shared this. And uh, in today's day and age, uh, stuff like this goes viral. It's, it's all uh, gimmicks. Something educational or something that is deep and purposeful. People don't want to see all that. Boobs, Kim Kardashian's boobs and butt and, uh, oh, this ridiculous mistake. Oh, she, uh, this shocking photograph of, so that kind of news gets viral and that is why people send me this and see, I'm making a video on it. Anyway, good, bad, ugly. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to know what do you think. Feel free to share. What do you think? I would love to read it. Okay. Having said that, this is me signing off. You guys take care.